Good morning, this is Greg at the Pocatello National Weather Service office with the weather hazard briefing for Monday, February 27th, 2023. Uh, we're going to have periods of snow through Tuesday. Uh, we have continued winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings out for the southern and eastern mountains uh, through Tuesday morning. So we're going to have active weather continuing. Uh, the key points, uh, again, periods of snow, gusty winds through Tuesday. Again, it's not going to be a continual snow, uh, but the heaviest snow is going to be in the southern and eastern mountains. So we have the winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings. And the warnings are for the Bear River Range, Big Hole Mountains, Centennial Mountains, Island Park region. And some of those areas could see uh, locally six inches or more, generally three to six throughout the whole area. Uh, we're going to see the winds increasing again tonight, but it's going to be breezy uh, all day today with another wind increase uh, later tonight into Tuesday with stronger winds expected again with another front moving through. So extensive blowing snow in the warning advisory areas. And the other point, I guess, will just be the extremely cold temperatures expected all the way through the first week or two of March. Uh, there's no ease up, it looks like, for these very cold conditions. We are going to have snow, uh, periods of mainly light snow continuing uh, beyond the major event uh, today and tomorrow, uh, Wednesday through the weekend. We're going to have occasional snow uh, pretty much everywhere through then. Uh, current satellite imagery shows, again, extensive cloud cover uh, across all of Idaho and the weather risk outlook again at least minor to moderate risks everywhere again with the periods of snow all day the moderate risk will be in the southeast eastern highlands as i said where we have the advisories and mountains out and again uh, winds both today and tomorrow again probably increasing again overnight tonight and tuesday morning uh, with another cold front moving through uh, snow should be lighter Wednesday, uh, just some minor risks in the eastern highlands, and then generally just uh, periods of light snow. Uh, Thursday is most likely to be the driest day, and then light snow moving back in Friday, continuing into the weekend. And again, we do have a low pressure in Nevada. Again, all of Idaho covered with snow, looking at the national forecast map. And here's tomorrow, that cold front has pushed east into Wyoming, and we are expecting to see the winds increase uh, behind that front tonight into tomorrow. And here are the watches, or the warnings, advisories we have out. You can see the winter storm warnings. Again, this goes through 11 a.m. Tuesday, Upper Snake Highlands, Island Park area, and some of the Big Hole Mountains and down in the Bear River Range with advisories uh, elsewhere across the Southeast Mountains. And here are the forecast snow amounts uh, through tomorrow. Again, the heaviest amounts are in the Bear River Range, some of the Centennial Mountain regions, but even lower elevations, Island Park, Ashton, Driggs, four to six inches expected. Uh, and again, some of the Again, the Bear River Range, you're seeing one to two feet additional snow amounts. And even the low, lower elevations, seeing some decent uh, six plus inch amounts possible. Lower elevations, Snake River Plain, generally one to three inches for the most part. Sun Valley area could see four to six inches with slightly higher amounts in the higher elevations. Wind gusts, again, these are this evening. We can see widespread 25 to 35 mile per hour gusts moving back in, mainly in the southern highlands. And then overnight behind the front, uh, again, quite a few 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts possible. Again, southern, southeast highlands, Snake River Plain. So again, along with the periods of snow, the winds are gonna be a major issue. High temperatures today, again, well below normal, 20s and 30s everywhere. Uh, low temperatures Tuesday morning, generally teens into the lower 20s. And then we start to cool off again behind this cold front moving through tonight. Uh, much colder than today, generally 20s and even 20s in the upper Snake Plain. And most areas below freezing, only areas down towards Casha County, Minidoka County, maybe into the mid 30s. Wind gusts Tuesday staying pretty strong, especially in the morning. Again, some 25 to 40 mile per hour gusts. Uh, highest ones upper Snake Lane. And again, Route 
interstate eighty four from burley to utah could see some really strong winds as well high temperatures wednesday even cooler than tuesday pretty much below freezing conditions expected everywhere and thursday morning looks like the coldest morning widespread below zero amounts or temperatures see stanley around 10 below below zero over the inl site to island park and uh, everyone well below 20 degrees by Thursday morning. And as I stated in the key points, uh, this is 8 to 14 days going through almost to the second week of March, almost a 90% chance uh, likely below normal temperatures continuing. And generally equal chances, maybe slightly better chance of above normal precipitation, but it looks like maybe some drying conditions moving in. So again, summarizing very uh, active weather pretty much through the whole week. Again, the winter weather advisory storm morning, southeast eastern mountains, uh, winds increasing again tonight into Tuesday morning. Uh, Again, it's not going to be continual snow, but periods of snow in bursts uh, you know, this morning in the southeast mountains, and then probably increasing again this afternoon, overnight tonight into Tuesday morning uh, across the whole area. And also very cold, continuing uh, into the first week or two of March. So that will conclude the briefing. If you have any questions, contact us at the number listed here 24 hours a day or visit our website. Thank you and everyone have a good start to the week.